hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to be making a very simple bikini top this is the top that i made with my bikini bottoms that i recorded about two to three weeks back they got really good feedback and people were asking for a matching top design so here we are with the top um tutorial the yarn that i'm going to be using is winter king it's a four ply yarn and uh, the hook is a 3.75 a pair of scissors and a darning needle to weave in your ends so i'm going to put away this i'm going to be using the same exact color that i used for my bikini bottoms um so we're going to start off with a slip knot and we're going to make a chain of four so one two three and four this applies to all sizes so chain four and then go into the second chain from the hook with a half double crochet so not this one but this one so yarn over insert your hook into the second chain from the hook which is this one insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all so that's a half double crochet and into the next chain you're going to go in there with three half double crochets so one two and three and then in the very last chain you're going to insert your hook and make one half double crochet so we have a total of five half double crochets for row one now you're going to chain one turn your work we are going to row two yarn over insert your hook into the very first half double crochet and make a half double crochet so um we have these three half double crochets in the middle in this chain so in the first one you're going to place one half double crochet and then in the next one which is the middle of the three half double crochets we are going to place a total of um three half double crochets so that's the exact middle one of the three half double crochets it gets three half double crochets then one half double crochet into the next and one half double crochet into the very last half double crochet so this is what we have and we have one two three four five six seven uh, half double crochets for row two now we are going to row three chain one turn your work half double crochet into the very first half double crochet go into the next with a half double crochet half double crochet into the next and now we are at the exact middle of the three half double crochets this is one of them this is the middle one and this is the third one so the middle one always gets three half double crochets all in that same stitch and then one half double crochet into the next and continue to half double crochet once into each and every remaining stitch so the only difference happens when we get to the middle part of the three half double crochets that we made from the previous row so we're going to row four chain one turn your work half double crochet into the first stitch and continue to make one half double crochet into each and every stitch until you reach the middle stitch of the three half double crochets so i have four stitches and i've reached the exact middle of the three half double crochets from the previous row or the exact middle stitch of the previous row so we go in there with three half double crochets and then go into the next stitch with one half double crochet and continue to do that in every stitch until the end of your row so that marks the end of row four we are going to continue this same exact thing until uh, we have 15 rows let me go ahead and make my 15 rows and then i'll come back and explain to you what to do for the bigger sizes I'm making for a small to medium so if you're a bigger size I'll be letting you know what to do from this point from the 15 rows okay so I'm done with my 15 rows 
and if you're a bigger size make sure the length from here to here is the length from the exact middle of your bust to the last part of your um, to the edge of your breast when stretched make sure you have that so you can put it against yourself if you're making for yourself or if you plan on making one for a client then that is a measurement that you need to consider so from the exact middle uh, below your breast up to the edge because this is the outside part of our top and this is the inner part of our top so we're going to start doing something different if you're a larger size you may consider adding two to four rows just uh, make it an odd number I, I prefer to work with odd number of rows for this uh, particular tutorial so I have my 15 rows here and now we're going to start working upwards towards the strap of our top and then we shall come back down this side and create something different so um, don't over cover this side make sure um, this distance is from the middle of your bust to the edge of your breast when stretched so that it can shrink back because we still need to create some more coverage here you don't want it to be so so much because this is a bikini top we are trying to keep it as little as we can so um we are on row 16 now you're going to chain up one turn your work and this time we are not going to go into the very first stitch so we're going into the second one with one half double crochet so that means we've done a decrease at the beginning of the row and then continue to half double crochet until the exact middle stitch where we would have increased this time you're going to just place one half double crochet and stop there and I'll meet you guys when I'm uh, at that point Okay, so this is the exact middle stitch. So I'm going to place my one half double crochet there. So that's the end of row 16. Row 17, you're going to chain one, turn your work, skip the very first stitch and go into the second with one half double crochet and continue to half double crochet all the way across. So this is the repeat for the upper part of our bikini top. You're going to repeat row 17 until you run out of stitches. So when you come to the end of row 17, we are going to skip this second last stitch and jump into the very last. like that so uh, row 16 we just decreased at the beginning but row 17 we are decreasing at the beginning and at the end of the row so we are going to repeat row 17 until we run out of stitches so chain one turn your work skip the very first stitch go into the second and continue to half double crochet until the third last stitch so I'm here on the third last so we have two stitches left you're going to skip over this and jump into the very last one with one half double crochet so that's all we're doing chain one turn your work skip the very first and jump into the second with a half double crochet so you skip the second last and go into the very last with one half double crochet so let me continue doing this on camera until I run out of stitches.
so right now I have a total of four stitches one two three four so I'll chain one and turn my work and go into the second stitch and then straight into the last stitch because I've skipped this very first one and I have one here so I'll go into the last stitch and just pull up a loop I'll have four loops on my hook and yarn over and pull through all so at that point we've created a shape like this this is how your work is going to look like at this point so after this we are going to chain three go down into the space between the last two half double crochets and make a double crochet there chain three double crochet in between the two double crochets below so for those who know my straps we are creating straps for our bikini top so that we don't have to cut our yarn and then we attach at the end of the project so that's what i'm trying to create chain three double crochet in the space between the two stitches below and you're going to continue doing this until you have the straps the length of the straps that you want i'm going to do a total of about uh, 15 to 20 segments of these and then i'll come back and show you how to do the lower part of your bikini top and then uh we shall see what to do next. Okay, so I ended up doing a total of 25 segments for my strap. And after this, you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. So that marks the end of my strap. So uh, you're going to put your work like this. And now we're going to be working this lower part. Remember, um, we are trying to create as much coverage as we can so that we don't get the side boob effect on our bikini top. So I usually don't like it. Some people do, but I don't like that side boob effect on my bikini top. So that's what we are going to try to cover up. So um, you're going to attach your yarn. So this last straw is going like this. So I think I'm going to attach my yarn in this middle stitch where I placed this half double crochet, that exact middle stitch. And then I'm going to be creating coverage to the side. So the way I want to do that, I'm going to work this row while weaving in this uh, this tail so I'm going to hold it at the back and I'm going to just jump into the next half double crochet and place a half double crochet continue to half double crochet all the way down Okay, so now we are placing our last half double crochet in the very last stitch. So I've tried to weave in that tail so that I don't have to uh, deal with it later. And now um, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And from this point onwards, we are going to be decreasing on both ends. So skip the very first and then go into the second with a half double crochet just like we did on the top part we were decreasing at the very beginning and the end of every row so that's what we are going to do here So this top is quite different from the usual bra cups that people make for their bikini tops. And I think it gives very good room for um, enough coverage. 
so when you get to the end here you're going to skip this second last stitch and jump into the very last with a half double crochet and chain one turn your work continue to decrease both at the beginning and at the end so we don't go into the very first stitch and we don't go into the second last stitch we just skip over them and continue to work normally so I'm going to continue to do this until I run out of stitches just like I did for my upper section of the top and then I'll show you how my top will look like after that So I've come to the end of my uh, lower coverage and I have four stitches left. I'm going to just do the same exact thing as I did for the upper part. Yarn over, skip this first stitch, insert your hook into the second stitch, pull up a loop and then go into the very last stitch and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, uh, sorry four loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all. So that marks the end of this. And now we are going to chain three and go in between the last and second last stitch with a double crochet. Chain three, double crochet in between these two at the bottom. Double crochet, sorry, chain three, double crochet in between the two at the bottom. So we are creating the strap that goes to uh, the side of our top. On one side because we are first working the first brock up and then we shall work the second so this is how your top will look like I know it looks weird but um, it makes a very good fitting for our top this is the part that's going to cover that side boob if you don't want it then you can leave it out but I really highly recommend it because it gives a very comfortable fit this coverage here is going to go towards the side of your rib cage so you don't have to worry about anything so um this is how everything is going to look like and i'm going to continue to make my straps and get back to you all right so i went ahead to do a total of 25 uh segments for my strap on the side just like I did for the upper sec for the upper um, strap. So this is how your work will look like. This will fold over to your rib cage, and this will run up to your uh, neck. This is how it will be. Or yeah, this is how it will be because this is the exact mid of our top. We shall do some shaping here later on. Um. So we're going to go ahead and make this same exact piece the way you see it here You're going to rewind this video and make this same exact piece and then I'll show you how to do the shaping for a better fitting of your um, bikini top Okay, so I have my two identical pieces. This is how I'm going to place them This is the side strap which we also have at this point and then these are the upper straps so the next thing that I'm going to be creating is the middle ribbon before I go ahead and do the shaping of the top. So for the ribbon, we are going to chain up five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to go into the second um, chain from the hook with a half double crochet. And then half double crochet all the way across for a total of four half double crochets so every row of the ribbon will be four half double crochets chain one turn your work four half double crochets all the way across so we are going into each and every stitch placing one half double crochet and we are going to do this for a total of about uh, 50 rows or however long you want your ribbon to be so let me go ahead and create mine and then I'll get back to show you how it will look like so 
So instead of half double crochets, I decided to go with single crochets. I think they looked uh, better packed. Uh, this looked a bit bulky, so I went with single crochets. And I just chained up five and went into each and every stitch. So just instead of half double crochets, you're going to do single crochets for a total of about 50 to 60 rows. This is how long my ribbon is. And after this, you're going to grab your um, tapestry needle or darning needle. And you're going to We're going to be joining these uh, backups. So I'm not going to be using these chains because they're quite short. If I had known, I would have left a long strand on one. So um, we're going to go into the very first stitch here and go also onto the first stitch on the other backup and join. So that's for the first stitch. Then I'm going to go into the next stitch, which is the middle stitch that has three stitches and also join. So I'm joining with two, two uh, stitches with my darning needle. Then I'm going to go into the very last stitch, which is this one. And then I also grab the same stitch on the other back up. Okay, so you can see the middle part is joined right now. And now we're going to do something else. We're going to be joining some part of this, um, this length of our uh, bikini top because I would guess this is so wide. This creates a very wide opening at our um, cleavage area. So I'm going to join a few rows I think I'll go with about three to five rows because I'm a small to medium. So those are about two rows. And this is the third. So joining this part is going to help us get a better coverage for our cleavage area so that our whole chest is not out in the open. And this is how the other side looks like. So uh, let me just do one more here. Okay, so we are done with this part. This is how the front side of our work looks like. So um, the next thing that you're going to do is to weave in this tail. You're going to just find the best way to make it secure enough. So I'm going to go into a few stitches here and there so that I make sure it doesn't um, unravel. All right, so after this, I am going to, uh, actually I have two strings here, so I can make a knot and just cut it off. A double knot is more secure than a single knot. Then we are done with the darning needle at this point, so you can cut it off and get rid of all these strands that are in the middle section of our bikini top. And after this, the next thing to do is to attach our ribbon. 
so if you want your top to be like this that's very cool with me you can go ahead and leave it like that but i'm going to just introduce this and i'm going to pass it from the back i don't like very like neat things so if one is longer that's even better it looks like more unplanned so um i'm having one side of the ribbon longer than the other i'm just placing the ribbon down like that one side is longer than the other and i'm going to just make a simple knot and make sure it's in the exact middle section where you joined the two bra cups together there and make a very tight knot and yeah that's basically it uh this is how our ribbon has come out uh, the single crochets create that twist automatically so i really liked the single crochet version better than the double crochet because the double the half double crochet version was more flat and when i made with single crochet it created that twist which was cool and yeah that's basically it so at this point your top is done and these are the straps that are going to go to the back of your neck and um the side that has the knot of the ribbon is the front side of your work and then these straps are going to go to the back of your uh, rib cage like that so this is the coverage i was telling you about that that uh puts away the side boob peeping so yeah this is how your top is supposed to look like at the back and when it comes to the front it will look like this this marks the end of um our bikini top i hope you guys liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and i'm creating another bikini bottom um inspired by this bikini top so as i was making this i thought of another idea of how to make a very cute bikini bottom um inspired by this and i can't wait to see in my next video if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i'll see you soon bye